Hello everyone, welcome back to Leading Edge Cricket Academy. So today what I've got for you is I'm going to show you some away swing and some in swing because you guys have been asking. So that is what I'm going to show you today. But first, let me show you how awesome the shirt is. What do you guys think? I love it, it's my favorite shirt. So enough of talking about my shirt, let's get into this video. Okay, so for the purpose of what we're doing, I'm going to be coming very close to the camera so I can show you what you need to do. So first, what we're going to work on is the away swing. So very important is to bowl away swing is your wrist position is very important. Okay, so your wrist, if you're a right-hander and you're bowling to a right-hander batsman, to bowl away swing, you need to flick your wrist like that, going more or less towards first slip. Okay, and how do we bowl effective away swing? Well, if you have an older ball like I do here, as you can see, this is fairly new and that's fairly old. So this is smooth and this is rough. Okay. So to bowl away swing, you want the rough side going towards first slip, if that makes sense. So you want the rough side to be facing that way. And you want the shiny side, the new side, to be facing there. Now, why, why do I say that you must have the rough side there and the smooth side that side? Well, it's very simple. The rough side of the cricket ball, so this part, okay, it's a lot heavier than the smoother side. So what's going to happen is the ball is going to tend to go to where the heavier part of the ball is, making the ball swing away. It's very easy. It's as simple as that. Now, the in-swing. So for the in-swing, what we're going to do is very simple. You just swap the ball around. So now you've got the smooth side on this side to your left of the camera and the rough side to the right side of the camera. And please, when, when bowling in swing, I never want you guys to do this. I never want your wrist to go there for in swing. Please don't ever do that. What happens, you just start pushing the ball down leg and you're just gonna bowl wide. It's the same action, okay? So the in-swing is the same action as you bowling a way-swing. It's just the weight of the ball that is going to make it reverse or swing later on. So that is, that's the fundamentals of the away-swing and the in-swing. But let's talk about the cutter as well. Okay. So for the cutter, there are different things that you can do. There are different grips and different positions. So the, which side of the ball, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So you can bowl a cutter holding it down the seam, but at the point of delivery, you just break your wrist like, a, like an off spinner, okay? Or the classic grip is you've got the seam like that, and you hold the ball like so, okay? And your thumb just there. So just on the, on the piece of the ball where these lines are, if you can see by the camera, just over there, you want to get your thumb more or less in line and your two fingers whack bang in the middle of it okay and very simple what you do is the same thing as an off cutter so bowling an off cutter your your action doesn't change okay so everything stays the same okay you don't want to get to the crease and then slow your action down because then the batsman knows you're going to bowl a cutter so what you do is it's the same action but as you release it you just flick it with your wrist like that so that that's able to bite into the grass and do something really strange. And that is it for today, guys. Just something very basic, very simple, just to keep you going. So these are things that you can work on at home. Just practice the different wrist positions, the different side of the ball. Just practice, guys. Bowling is all about practice. Actually, cricket is all about practice. I hope you all have a good day. See you next time.